I'm David Mendel with the April Chairman's Update, and joining us as he does each month at this time, our HAR Chairman of the Board, Mario Arriaga. Welcome, Mario. Thank you. Glad to be here again today, David. Well, what a tough month it's been for people who suffered flooding from the terrible rains of mid-April. Uh, luckily, HAR, as it always does, has stepped up to the plate to provide some relief. We have, and it's uh, a tragic that it's occurred again, but just to let our members know that uh, the HAR Board of Directors uh, today, matter of fact, approved a contribution to the Greater Houston Flood Relief Fund as well as the Texas Disaster Relief Fund through TAR. Uh, these funds are available for anyone that was impacted by the recent storms. You don't have to be a realtor member, just even if you're a citizen in this area that you were impacted, you're able to apply for some assistance through those two separate funds. Funding is also available and at the same time HAR wants to encourage people to donate to those Absolutely. less fortunate. Uh, we'll provide a button on the HAR.com homepage that makes it clear how you can make a donation. Also on the screen we've got links uh, directing you to both the Greater Houston Flood Relief Program and the Texas Disaster Relief Fund which is being organized through TAR. Uh, so that's very important. You know, realtors always seem to step up to the plate. We do. What we're at a time of need, and uh, this is no exception. None whatsoever. We're looking forward to uh, being able to help those that were impacted. Another item we want to share with the membership has to do with uh, security during transactions. Yes, you know, we recently have received, in fact, many of you should have received some email or notice about uh, wire fraud that's occurring right now and apparently it's becoming a very big issue. So we just wanted to warn you to be careful, let your clients and customers know if they receive instructions where they're wiring funds from their bank account, always call your banker, talk to someone at that bank to make sure that that email you received is the correct email. And uh, there have been uh, fraud uh, cases moving forward right now where a uh, seller had sold a property uh, the title company had wired funds, but the seller never received them because the title company were essentially hacked with that and they sent them to a different account rather than to the seller's actual wire funds uh, account. So definitely be, uh, be aware of that. Uh, it just seems like uh, opportunity for fraud exists Absolutely. anytime there's an electronic you know, wire transaction like that. Yeah. So uh, thank you very much, you just, as always, for you, your insights. Okay, thank and, you, And uh, we'll be back again next month with the next Chairman's Update from all of us here at HAR-TV. Thank you for watching. Thank you.